Science 6. Plate Boundaries. Objectives. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to identify the layers of the Earth, state and explain the continental drift theory and plate tectonics theory, explain why the Earth's plates move, compare and contrast the different types of tectonic plate boundaries. Earth is made up of the atmosphere, the hydrosphere, the lithosphere, and the biosphere. The air covering Earth is the atmosphere, the water portion is the hydrosphere, the continents or the land portion make up the lithosphere, and the Earth's living system containing all organisms is the biosphere. How was the Earth formed? The solar system was nothing but a cloud of cold dust particles swirling through an empty space. This cloud of gas and dust was disturbed by the explosion of a nearby star or by a supernova. And the cloud of gas and dust started to collapse as gravity pulled everything together. Forming a solar nebula or a huge spinning disk. As it spun, the disk separated into rings, and the furious motion made the particles white hot. The center of the disk accreted to become the sun. And the particles in the outer rings turned into large fiery balls of gas and molten liquid that cooled and condensed to take on a solid form. About 5 billion years ago. They began to turn into the planets that we know today as Earth, Mars, Venus, Mercury, and the outer planets. Composition of Earth The Earth has four main layers, the inner core, the outer core, the mantle, and the crust. The inner core is the innermost solid layer of Earth. It is made up of iron-nickel alloy, which makes it as hot as the surface of the Sun and capable of melting metals within it. The outer core is a hot liquid layer surrounding the inner core. It is also made up of iron and traces of other metals and elements. The mantle is the layer of earth between the core and the crust. It is mostly made up of iron, silicon, and magnesium. The crust is the outermost and thinnest layer of the earth. It is broken into large and small tectonic plates, which are massive slabs of rock that move on earth's surface. They can be categorized into continental plates and oceanic plates. Continental plates are the continents of the Earth, while oceanic plates are mainly at mid-ocean ridges. Geologists or scientists who study the structure of Earth. Have you ever wondered why the Earth's land mass is divided into different continents? The continental drift theory states that the continents formed a huge mass called Pangaea, which, over time, had separated and drifted apart. It further claims that the continents consist of lighter rocks that rest on top of heavier crustal materials. Alfred Wegener also proposed that the relative positions of the continents are not rigidly fixed because they are slowly moving. The theory of plate tectonics tells that the surface of the Earth is broken into larger pieces of plates that float along the asthenosphere. The asthenosphere is the zone of Earth's mantle lying beneath the lithosphere and believed to be much hotter and has more fluid than the lithosphere. It explains how the different geological phenomena like earthquake, volcanism, continental drift, and mountain formation occur through plates. Why do tectonic plates move? The plates move along their boundaries in different directions and at different speeds. The Earth's interior is very hot. Studies show that the release of heat from the core produces convection current in the mantle. This convection current causes the oceanic and continental plates to move. When hot mantle materials rise and reach a weaker part of the crust, some escape as magma in the lithosphere. Some of the hot mantle materials spread sideways beneath the lithosphere and cool off. The mantle materials that cool become dense and sink deeper into the core. As they get near the core, the sinking materials heat up again, and the cycle continues. Types of tectonic plate boundaries There are three kinds of tectonic plate boundaries. Convergent Divergent And sliding boundaries 1. Convergent plate boundary is a region where two plates move toward each other and collide. 
As they continue to move toward each other, their edges fold, bend, twist, and rise up more. This results in a row of high mountains, or volcanoes. 2. The divergent plate boundary is formed when two tectonic plates move away from each other. When two ocean plates move apart, magma rises from the mantle to fill the gap. When the magma cools, a new seafloor is formed. This is called seafloor spreading. Rift valleys form along the rift or the areas of divergence. Three. The transform plate boundary is formed when two plates slide past each other. This causes friction and a strong bumpy motion of the plates as they move apart, which produces an earthquake. As a result of crustal movements, continents were formed. A continent is a continuous large stretch of land that sprawls even under the sea. There are seven continents. Africa Antarctica Asia Australia Europe, North America, and South America. Continents are attached to tectonic plates, which are the pieces that form the Earth's surface. Practice exercise. What are the layers of the Earth? The inner core, the outer core, the mantle and the crust are the layers of the Earth. What is the kind of tectonic plate boundary formed when two tectonic plates move away from each other? The answer is divergent plate boundary. Why do tectonic plates move? Tectonic plates move because the Earth's interior is very hot, which causes the oceanic and continental plates to move. What is the kind of tectonic plate boundary formed when two plates slide past each other? The answer is transform plate boundary, which is the outermost and thinnest layer of the Earth. The answer is crust. 